Hey, what's up guys? It's the Manufacturer Millennial. Remember the hype of the 3D technology revolution where 3D TVs and curved TVs and these 3D glasses you're gonna wear were gonna change the entertainment industry forever and it was gonna be put in every single living room in America? Well, I do, and that didn't turn out so well. So where does 3D technology stand in, let's say, the manufacturing industry? Now, we looked at a couple sensors before on some previous videos where we had the ability to detect uh, your length, your width, your maximum, and your minimum, and your delta heights. But have we really talked about 3D inspection and cameras? Well, today let's look at a 3D camera, the Gokator 3200 series from LMI Technologies, and what some of its capabilities are, and what separates it from a standard 2D camera. What applications we can use it in, and the tool sets that we can apply to it that might just save you time and money on your next inspection application. Here we go. Now to start with, LMI Technologies creates a wide variety of sensors and cameras. What they're probably most known for is their 3D line profile sensors, their Gokator line, that can do a wide variety of inspections for high resolution scanning, measurement, and control for automated quality inspection. We'll dig deeper into these models in a future video, but today we're really going to be focusing on their snapshot sensor. Now currently there are three models with a larger field of view one coming in quarter four of this year. Today we're going to be talking specifically about the 3210 and what its capabilities are. Now to start with, the sensor uses a blue structure light that projects down onto the surface in different grid patterns. The light is then reflected back up into the two cameras to create a full field 3D point cloud acquisition. I can have a field of view of up to 100 microns by 154 microns, and with that, an X and Y resolution of 60 and 90 microns respectively per essentially pixel size. And with that, I also have a Z resolution of 4.7 microns. Now once I have the camera set up, I can really dig into the ecosystem and the platform of what LMI offers. The Gokator has an onboard processor I can connect to over a web browser simply via an IP address. There's no need for any costly external controllers which I find as an advantage and a cost savings to the end user. On the scan tab, I'm able to adjust features like my active area, my exposure, trigger settings, surface generation, and more. I'm then able to apply different tool sets and measurements to do different inspections from dimensional measurements, global flatness, volume, OCR, the curvature of the surface, and as you can see, much more. Now with all these different measurements, LMI can solve a variety of different applications. Now when I mentioned what separates 2D to 3D, I think this video right here shows exactly what I'm talking about. From a top-down view, I'm not really able to see and differentiate height within my inspection surface. However, when looking from the side, I can clearly see that. But what about surfaces and inspections that are blocked from all side positions. With a 3D sensor, I can scan that image and clearly see and inspect all my dimensional measurements with ease using this 3D point cloud. Once I have all the measurements and inspections set up, I can communicate this via a discrete signal, Ethernet IP, TCP, Modbus, ASCII, and a lot more communication protocols are available. So the final item I want to point out is not actually the sensor itself, but it's the software, and more specifically, a downloadable emulator. So I was able to record all these images and inspections behind me on the table, download and save all of those, including the program and each individual captured image, and then upload that to the emulator to do future inspection, and in this case, do my screen sharing and capturing to show in this video. Now what's great about that is you can work with this project and your projects offline after acquiring images, but on top of that you can easily download a GS file and send that to support to have your application solved and get help immediately with them looking at the exact program that you're working on. Well that's it for this video guys, I'm going to talk more in detail about some of their other laser line profile sensors and some upcoming videos and break some more applications down over the next few months. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.